I'm going to show you the best coverage defense in Madden 23 at launch. You can use this in Mutt. This is going to get you more wins. You can use this in Regs. This is the best coverage defense in Madden. It is in the 46 defensive playbook. And we just released a full defensive ebook out of the 4-6 defensive playbook covering the nickel 3-3 cub formation. I believe it is the most versatile day one defense in Madden 24. And it contains, in my opinion, not only the best coverage defense, but also some of the best pressure concepts in the entire game. So if you want to get that ebook and all of the ebooks that I drop over on the Patreon page, you can sign up today for just $10 and it will get you access to everything. All of our ebooks, all of our updates, everything for just 10 bucks. As long as your membership is active, you can sign up. The link is down in the description. So the defense comes to us out of the 3-3 Cub and we're going to be using um, some, some unique coverage adjustments that really come out of the nickel 3-3. This is why we want to be in the 46 playbook. The only coaching adjustment that I would recommend that you set here, um, a couple key ones, really the main one is zone coverage to match. And then um, I like to go ahead and put option defense to conservative, ball and air defense to play ball. It's going to help you catch more interceptions. And then if you take a look at these uh, these guys on the on the screen here, this the linebackers, we're going to have safeties at the linebacker position. And then you just want to sub in and out your corners wherever you want them. So you want your best cover players on the field. Um, and you're still going to be able to stop the run with this defense, which is what makes it extremely versatile. This is also the best rollout defense for containing any kind of rollout uh, corners or anything like that. Now, if you take a look here at the bottom of the menu screen, I'm going to be changing the packages, and I'm going to scroll by clicking my right joystick to the right till we get to the safety nickelback package, and then I'm going to come out in any play in 3-3. I'm going to then audible down to Mike Blitz 0, and we already did a video on this, but like I said, I think this is the best blitz in the game. As you can see, it's instant A-gap pressure. We explain how to do this in depth in the Patreon. We also show in the Patreon how to make this blitz still really effective, even if your opponent blocks a running back or a tight end. So that's something else that, that kind of comes with that. But the coverage aspect of this is we're going to bluff the blitz. And, and again, they're going to have to you know maybe block a running back or they're going to do something to stop the blitz. But the coverage aspect of this is very simple. We are going to man up the left side linebacker on the running back. And we're going to man up the right side linebacker on the tight end. Now, you can interchange those based on whatever formation you're facing. The main thing we're trying to do is we're just manning up both of those linebackers on whoever the safeties we're covering. Because we are going to put these safeties, we now have these new adjustments where we can put these safeties in outside thirds. And then you're going to shade your coverage inside and underneath and I, you can crash out if you want to. I like to crash out, um, crash my defensive line outside to kind of slant those blitz angles and create a one-on-one -on -one for my nose tackle. But what you'll see is this is the best coverage defense in the game. There's not going to be much open. And really the only thing that they can get open is, is anything in the middle of the field, a post route, a slant route, something like that is really the best thing that they have going. But let's just take, for example, like a standard flood concept from Bunch, one of the best concepts every single year. This defense will absolutely bag um, this kind of passing. So what you'll see here again, shade inside and underneath. And if you look here, you're going to see that this is going, because of the jams and the random bumping you get in this year's game, when you combine that with the use of the outside third coverage over the top, what this does is it tells everybody on your defense, hey, play underneath because we have significant amount of help over the top of this, uh, of this defense. What this allows is for them to get underneath the crossing routes, the corner routes, the slot apprentice posts, all that stuff. Vertical is one of the best plays in the game this year, and this coverage pretty much will bag it. Um, also, this will take away running back wheel routes because you have that third, and you're going to create a bracket over the top of any kind of seam streaks or wheels. You're just going to run to the crosser here, and as you can see, pretty solid uh, defense. Another big piece of this defense that makes it super effective is is it is adjustable. So like if you don't want to shade your coverage underneath or inside or whatever, you don't have to do that. You can adapt this coverage however you want. I really do like to recommend go ahead and press the coverage, but you don't have to shade underneath. You can simply shade like, for example, in this case inside, you're still going to get these really good press animations, but now they're not going to get so far underneath that like a tight end wheel route can beat you over the top. So what you'll see here is now we got the same basic concept. I'm lurking the crosser. This, this coverage is absolutely incredible. Guys, this is just one piece of the entire defensive system that is a 3-3 Cub. A lot of the comp players are starting to figure out 
that 3-3 Cub is the best defense in the game, at least right now. If you want to learn how to run that defense, join the Patreon today for just $10. We break everything down for you. And you also get access to all of our eBooks. And we're dropping a ton. We've already dropped six uh, offensive and defensive eBooks for Madden 24. And we're going to be dropping more tomorrow morning. So make sure that you're in the Patreon. The link to sign up is down in the description below.